It's time for Recipe of the Day. It is Monday and I have a quick side dish that works in a pinch on any weeknight or any time. And this is for microwaving corn on the cob. Now, I'm going to tell you, this is not my favorite way to cook corn on the cob, but it is the way that I cook it most often just because it is so easy. So I guess maybe before I tell you how to microwave corn on the cob, I'm going to tell you my favorite way to cook corn on the cob. And it's not on the grill and it's not anything super fancy. This is just the way that my mom used to do it. Uh, I think this is how she grew up having it. There's a story she tells about when she was a kid, they had this big farm on their property. And when the corn was in season, they would just have corn for dinner. And she remembers a friend asking her after school one day, what are you guys having for dinner tonight? And she was like, corn. And the friend was like, just corn. And my mom was like, yes, just corn. They literally had corn for dinner. And now that I'm telling this story, I'm realizing that I don't remember if that's because they all just loved corn so much or if it was because it was so inexpensive because it was coming from their farm. So I need to find that out for my mom. Mom, you've got to tell me. Anyhow, when they were having corn for dinner, my baba, my mom's mom, would do a big pot of water and often put sugar in it, which is also how my mom would cook it at the restaurant. They did these steak nights and they would have corn on the cob at the steak nights. It was really, really nice. And that is how she made it for us growing up as well. And the sugar in the water gives a little bit of extra sweetness to the corn. It is lovely. So you just bring a pot up to boil that's big enough to fit however many cobs you want to put in there. And, you know, put a tablespoon or two of sugar into that water, give it a stir. And then you add your shucked cobs of corn into there and you cook until they've changed color. They get like a deeper yellow. If it's the yellow cobs, it's going to be about five minutes. Use tongs to transfer them out and then you slather on the butter, sprinkle with salt, maybe be some corn holders, you're good to go. So that is my favorite way to cook corn on the cob. But the way that I usually end up doing it is in the microwave because it's just so convenient and nearly as good. And this is coming from somebody who doesn't usually like to cook things in the microwave. I will warm up things in the microwave. The air fryer is my device of choice for heating a lot of things up, but I will warm things up in the microwave, but I don't usually like cook things in there. But corn on the cob works really well. So what you do is you get a microwave safe like dinner plate, a pie plate will also work. Just something that is larger than the length of your cobs of corn, okay? And then you put a couple of tablespoons of tap water, just cool tap water, onto that plate. And then you put your shucked cobs of corn onto there. Now, if you're doing two, that fits perfectly on my dinner plates and my dinner plates are microwave safe. So it'd be two cobs of corn, but I do four of them sometimes as well. And then you put another dinner plate or another microwave safe plate on top. Crucially, there's going to be a gap between the plates because the corn is bigger than like the depth of the plates, if that makes sense. You don't want a perfect seal in here. You do want there to be a little bit of a gap. I don't want anything like exploding on you. You know what I mean? So you have a plate, you have some water on the plate, you have your shucked cobs of corn on there, you have another plate inverted over top, and then that goes into the microwave for four to five minutes, as much as six minutes if you have four cobs in there. And basically you'll be able to tell, like it just looks like those kernels have changed color, they're more tender. And that is when they're done. I use some tongs to transfer them off of that plate, discard that water, maybe pat them dry if they seem damp, but I don't think they usually do. And then you're slathering on that butter and sprinkling with salt. Dig in. Microwave corn on the cob. Easy, not quite as good as simmered with sugar, but pretty good for the amount of effort involved. I will put the link to this recipe in the show notes for this podcast episode, or you could head to cookthestory.com slash R-O-T-D. I post all the links to the recipes there. They're organized by date, so it's helpful to know that today is May 6th of 2024. I also post the links in our Facebook group. There is a new recipe of the day episode every single day, seven days a week, and I always post the link in there, and you can get to the episode from there, find the recipe, find the episode, find what I'm talking about. Join that group at facebook.com slash groups slash recipe OTD. I look forward to seeing you there. I'm Christine Pittman from cookthestory.com, thecookful.com, the all new chicken cookbook, and from this podcast, Recipe of the Day. I hope you have a great day. Let's get cooking.